All right, ladies and gents, we are back at the rear defroster. Um, what I did is I hooked up to the other side and then I tested each uh, grid, just with an ohm meter to check for continuity. Beep, beep, everything's looking good, obviously, till we get to right here. And then the tab was glued on, but the, there was no connection. So we're gonna re-glue it on and make sure that there's a connection uh, to get this rear defroster back working, so. And again, really simple. On this side, I have it hooked up on the wire side. And then I'll have the other side hooked up back here. I've already tested it thoroughly. So I'm gonna, of course, glue, glue it with this off of there. A lot of times these break because of these things. So feel free to stretch these out a little bit. You know, I'll do that better with both hands so I'm not yanking on it. But you wanna make sure these are stretched because yeah, they really want, they really like to pull when this uh, window gets popped. And of course, I got the, my own meter. When I turn it on, I'll turn it on to here. Uh, so that way, when they connect, it'll just beep for me. So, pretty simple. The uh, stuff you get from the park store to do this is uh, right here. Basically, get everything clean. Um, wipe the activator on it. Wait five minutes. And then after you, this is nice and uh, kneaded because this has metal flake through it. And that's what's gonna glue it and, is, and also make the electrical connection, so. And if it really doesn't work out, you could very quickly run a bead to, you know, best you can. I actually tried it before and it made the connection, but I wanna re-glue it anyway. Um, you can put a little thing of solder um, Right next, here's the tab drawing. Because you're supposed to put the activator on the tab too. But yeah, basically you kind of bridge the tab to the grid with a little bead of solder. If for some reason, you know, you don't have this stuff, you know, or this for some reason isn't working. But anyways, that's it. We'll get her done. All right, guys and gals, we have our repair. Complete. I had to do it over. I'd end up grinding the uh, bottom of the tab because it wasn't sitting flat. And then I just used my little screwdriver to paint the uh, conductive adhesive over those grids. So everything is good there. And I tested it really quick right at the tab. Um, and I'm going to reread the directions on something. But one thing I'm going to do since I have a ton of time for this vehicle. So I'm going to, I'm going to kind of let these sit for a while. I'm not, this, remember, this isn't yanking, right? But we, I want these to stretch out. Be careful. This is my brother's vehicle. You want to get a rag, find something like that. Doing that to the other side, because again, that's what yanks these off is this, especially when it's cold. These things are cinched up when it's cold and you ask it to stretch and it, it's like a bungee cord rather than a, curly Q, you know so anyways i'm gonna do that probably gonna let this sit till tomorrow um let's go look at the uh instructions here because i saw something about 24 hours um let's see here uh allow 24 hours to cure before reattaching wire or activating defogger so this thing's gonna sit I got the battery charger on it. I do have the dome light uh, commanded off, which is great because these have a button for that. Um, of course, I could just close the window, but I do have a battery maintainer. Let's go check that out. Um, here's that, that dome light button, which is awesome. <clears throat> so, there's a battery there. We've got our trusty battery tender on there. I'm just going to leave that on there. And uh, good to go. So I'm just about done out here today. E. Uh, fun fact. <clears throat> excuse me. Last Frontier Garage. I, I do live in Alaska. And today it was the official beginning of the 48th uh, Iditarod. The sled dog race. So kind of cool. 
Anyway, so after it's all put together, obviously we're going to um, hook everything up, double check our continuity, and then actually activate the element and check for voltage and make sure everything's purring like a kitten. There you go. All right, ladies and gents, we've got our repair finished. Uh, continuity exists after the repair, and we officially have voltage across there. So now it looks good. It's a little bit of a drop, which indicates, which is indicative of the resistance, and we're good to go. Next big test is, of course, it's got to ice up and got to get some melting going on. Over and out.